hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us for the video today. Please subscribe to my channel. I film all things fashion and styling with the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Today's video, we're going to be taking slip dresses. They are slip dresses that I got in the Target sale. I have one right here. I got this beautiful taupey beige color and then also just a plain black one. So I'm going to be showing you inspiration for how to style them for the fall. I feel like I was channeling the fashion gods while I was upstairs in my closet pulling things for the styling. Like, I'm so impressed with myself, so I'm so excited to show this video with you. If you have not already, make sure to watch the Target haul because I kind of do like a full in-depth review of not only these slip dresses, but all the other awesome pieces I got from Target during the big sale. This dress is actually another piece I got during the sale. It didn't come in time for me to film when I was filming the video, so I just did like a mini one that'll be posted on my Instagram and TikTok. If you want to follow me over there, it's Amanda Lamardi underscore style. Um, such a cute dress. Like, even with this, so look. We're getting off topic, but with these shoes, stunning. But let's get into the styling portion. I'm gonna start with all the outfits with the beige one, and then we'll move on to the black. Starting off with a casual look, I'm a, I'm gonna say I'm obsessed with, I think, every look that I put together. I'm, when I tell you I'm like so proud of myself for these looks, I'm not joking, but. We just have the beige slip dress with my favorite white sneaker. We're going to go on another tangent here. I am not a fan of like the athletic sneaker look with like socks and dresses or just like trousers with like, you know what I mean? Like the athletic, like the dad mowing the lawn sneakers. I'm not here for that trend. When I think of like a cute, versatile white sneaker, I think of like a flat like canvas this is honestly perfect it's puma it's just i'm just not down but if you like it that's fine that is what fashion is about you pick the things that you like and that you feel like work well with your aesthetic and like what you're going for your style wise and you do it but me personally not my jam but this is my jam i have my oversized jean jacket and then i feel like this bag is elevating the whole look along with my gold accessories but this is a super like casual going out for lunch, brunch, running errands on the weekends. Like if you work at a casual office, I think this is great. Um, and my tip is I am always roll up your sleeves. Like look at the before. This is just like, okay, we have our jacket on, cool. Something magical happens when you roll up the sleeves. It's just like a little stylistic touch that transforms the outfit. Like this is not a ingenious, never been done before outfit, but the different touches, the gold, the rolled up sleeve is making it come all together. And also, like I said before, exposing your wrists, showing the smallest parts of your body, which are usually our wrists, is going to create a longer, leaner silhouette. I look expensive and let me tell you, this outfit was really not. The dress from Target was $12.50, I got it on sale. The most expensive thing was the boots. And boots are a great example of something to invest in. I personally am looking for a black pair of boots, like a nice leather pair, higher price. I think I actually found a pair, um, and I think they're on sale, so I need to get on this and like do my due diligence and check out if I need to buy them right now. Um, but yeah, these are, I think these are Nine West. I love Nine West boots. And on like the scale, of a, they're pretty affordable for like a nice leather boot. They usually range like anywhere from 80 to like $150 for a really nice pair of boots that are gonna last you year after year after year. I believe I got these in like my sophomore year of college. I am turning 30 this year, so it's been like nearly a decade and they're still doing very well condition wise. Um, but also, this I love when there's like a midi length done with a high boot so there's no skin chewing. I think it's so cute. And then we just threw on this like little camel jacket. The hat, I don't think you need the hat, but I also don't think you don't need the hat. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so cute, so fall. 
Again, I feel like this could be a cute work outfit depending on your work environment. It's just so good. And then another iteration, same base, we have on the boots and the um, slip dress, a little trench coat. This one I got on sale from H&M. Um, I love when people just have to open but tie the back. This is this beautiful like micro suede material. It's a tonal outfit, which immediately makes you look a little more elevated, a little more expensive, no matter what you're wearing. So this is another thing you can spend more on because you're going to get a lot of cost per wear on an item like a trench coat. So because this one is micro suede, I don't like to wear it in the rain, which kind of like limits me. So I did actually get a new traditional like water wicking material, material trench coat, but I just love the way that this one looked with the outfit because it's this like soft, almost angelic, I feel angelic and ethereal in this outfit. And then I removed the hat for this one. Obviously, I don't have a hat on my head. I believe this is the last of the taupey beige dress outfits that I'll show you. Again, this is another great work outfit. This like lifts up more. I like a very low neckline, um, but you can adjust the straps on this slip dress. Um, again, we have a little booty on. Now I will say, that this might not work for every body type because it, you risk kind of creating a shorter leg line. So that's just something to be aware of. Even if it does make you look a little shorter and you still like it, again, wear what makes you feel good. Um, so just have on this little neutral blazer, a little bag, my gold accessories. Again, the all neutral, like tonal kind of look, just, it looks so elevated so grown up, sophisticated, chic. I'm obsessed, this might be my favorite outfit of the, the beige. This is an example of how you can layer with slip dresses, especially in the colder months. A uh, like long sleeve underneath, a little t-shirt underneath. It's gonna add visual interest and like make the dress look different. That's why I love having these staple basics because you can mix and match them so much that people aren't necessarily gonna be like, oh, she just wore that dress last week because you can make it look so different. And this outfit though, with the leopard, this is giving me a more mature version of how I used to dress back in fashion school, like circa 2010. Like I was wearing fishnets, blazers, like I was on the blazer game like way before it was as trendy as it is, just know that. <laughs> um, but I love, at first I didn't have the hat with it, but then when I was getting changed, I tried the hat on with it and I really like, it's kind of giving like this Western vibe to it, but then like, it's still looking sophisticated because we have this nice pointy toe heel and a little clutch and then the gold accessories. At first I wasn't vibing with it, but now I'm like, I kind of dig it. So I'm interested, maybe I need to get a plain, this is like a mesh. I've had this since freshman year of college. I've never worn it out. <laughs> but something is telling me just to hang on to it. I don't know why, maybe it was for this moment in time um but i'm thinking i want to get like a neutral plain solid version of one of these shirts too because i really like the idea of layering with these because they're super thin and not bulky which is great for underneath this more fitted slip dress another great look that you could wear to work this sweater i got from this little boutique in clayton new york um if you saw any of my vacation content on instagram or tiktok I went back to her and I got um, this really cute bracelet. She always has such cute clothes in there. And I actually got this, I went up in October last year and everything was on sale because they like closed down for the winter months because they're like a summer kind of vacation spot. And I got this for $25, it's so soft and beautiful. And then I just paired my Target belt, the slip dress and then the little boots as well. I feel like Rachel Zoe would eat this outfit up. She would look so cute and I think she would love it. And then with the hat especially, I think it could look really cute. Love this. I'm just like speechless. All of these outfits are so perfect. This is part of a matching set I have. It comes with like matching tailored high-waisted shorts. It's cropped. These were very trendy this season, the cropped blazer look. And then I have again my little pop of leopard. I have pops of leopard and snake print. Those are my only two like patterns I really have anymore in my wardrobe. I added the chain bag because this chain just like dresses everything up. 
I of course rolled up the sleeves. That is like the number one takeaway from this, show your wrists. I just love this look. It's so easy too. You just throw on a dress, add a layer on top, and accessorize. And you have a really put together, beautiful look. Sadly, we have reached the last outfit. Okay, a leather jacket is another thing that you can invest. It's a great investment piece to add to your wardrobe. So the main takeaways from this video really quick are to invest in a great pair of boots, nice leather boots, a great leather jacket, doesn't have to be real leather, um, roll up your sleeves, and a trench coat is another great investment piece. Those four items are like closet essentials. But back to this outfit. So I'm actually, I might insert a clip after this, like while I'm editing, because I have ordered myself for my birthday gift to myself. It's this like highlighter yellow, cute little top handle bag from Rebecca Minkoff. I'm so excited. I will be doing like a full unboxing slash review video. And that'll be up on my Instagram, TikTok, and a longer form video on YouTube. And that would just finish off this look because it would tie in yellow at the bottom but without it it's still a great outfit i love these shoes and okay we're manifesting again i know we like to manifest in these videos sometimes um an october trip to new york city i love new york city in the fall especially central park like looking out into like the west side i used to live right off of central park west on the upper west side like literally probably 200 feet to the park from my brownstone i loved that place so much um, but like nothing beats Central Park in the fall or New York City in the fall because it's crisp. You can layer, you can dress really cute. So manifesting a trip to the city this fall and I'm bringing this outfit with the highlighter yellow bag because this is just everything. But that's the video. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one for styling, whether you need an outfit for an event, you want to overhaul your old look, you want to declutter your closet, I can do it all. There's always a link to book a session with me in the description of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.